Hi guys, it's Mark from Totally Silence Tech. Welcome to another review. Today we're going to be checking out the ROG Gladius 2 Optical Gaming Mouse. This mouse isn't even released yet at the time of making this video at least, so it's going to be great to be one of the first people to review it. My current favourite mice right now is the Logitech G Pro, the Zowie FK2 for FPS gaming, although lately I've been leaning towards the FK2 as my favourite mouse overall. So can the Gladius 2 fit into my extensive arsenal of mice. I've reviewed and tested a lot over the last year so the Gladius 2 is going to have a tough time fitting in with my preferred choices. So let's get right into it and check out the specs and features of the Gladius 2 to see if it has a fighting chance. First up the sensor and already it has a good start as ASUS have slapped in a high-end optical 3360 sensor by Pixar, one of the best sensors ever giving one to one tracking, zero acceleration and a maximum of 12,000 dpi. The 3366 has no native dpi as well so feel free to use whatever dpi you like. Plus using the Armoury software the sensor can be calibrated to any surface whether you use a cloth or hard mouse pad. The Gladius 2 has a cool party trick, modular Omron switches, underneath there's four rubber covers hiding four screws, taking them off and undoing the screws grants you access to the inside. The stock Omron switches are marked grey and the spares are marked blue. The grey ones personally I didn't like, the spares felt much better with greater tactile feel, ideal for burst firing in FPS shooters. Here's a sound test of the two different Omron switches. The Gladius 2 also has really nice shaped comfort grooves on the left and right buttons that don't flare out so my fingers won't slip off at any point, they just rest neatly in between. Taking a look at the rest of the buttons, the forward and back buttons have great tactile feedback which are easy to reach and I never press them by accident at any point while gaming. Below the forward and back buttons is a DPI button, ideally it will be used for snipers for fine aiming, but I found it too close to my thumb's gripping position. During gaming I was constantly pressing it in by mistake, moving my hand back just ruined my grip style, which is fingertip by the way, it would have been even more of an issue if I was using palm. That said it can be disabled completely in the ROG Armoury software. In contrast the DPI button on the top of the mouse is well placed and it offers great tactile feedback. The Gladius 2 fits my hand extremely well, I have 18cm hands in length, if the mouse was any bigger it would have been a little bit too big for me. One grip style I didn't feel too comfortable with due to its slope was claw, with palm and fingertip the mouse felt absolutely perfect. Its thumb groove gives great support even if there's a DPI button right where my thumb rests. Either way it's shaped extremely well for comfort and support. Moving on to the right side it slopes inwards at the bottom and gives great support to my pinky finger. My ring finger was also well supported at the bottom because the mouse flares outwards. Both fingers feel very comfortable and I had no trouble at any point lifting the mouse even though it's still pretty heavy. Speaking of weight, the mouse weighs in at 109 grams, on the heavier side for FPS gaming. That said, it doesn't feel it. I've tested mice that feel lighter than what they are before, and the ROG Gladius 2 is no exception. Shape is far more important. Generally, heavier mice improve my long range shooting, but I find them harder to use at short range. The Gladius 2 is well balanced for both situations depending on the game. If you're into arena shooters, the Gladius 2 might not be for you although in games like Battlefield 1 it strikes a nice compromise. Regarding build quality, the mouse is built like a tank. The only thing I'd like to point out is that there's a fair bit of rattle from the left and right clicks. Other than that though, the mouse is built to last. A much durable plastic has been used that's very resistant to scratches. Plus the fact you can replace the Omron switches, it's a big plus point over other mice. I can't see any other reason why the Gladius 2 won't last you a very long time. The USB cord is also detachable, if it ever broke, a replacement can be found in the box. The Gladius 2 comes with one that is braided and one that is rubber, that unfortunately is a little bit too short in my opinion. 
The program you'll need for things like DPI adjustments is called the Armory software. The first page allows you to create up to three different profiles and then save them over to the left. If we look at the lower tabs, the first one allows you to alter all nine buttons. Even the scroll wheel can be changed to things like macros, a function on your keyboard, a window shortcut and even multimedia controls. Moving on to the next tab is all about performance. This is where you can adjust your DPI as well as angle snapping, polling rate, acceleration and button response. On to the next tab it gives you plenty of options for customising your mouse's lighting to match your gaming setup such as a single static colour, breathing effect, colour cycle, reactive, wave, and lastly comet. Each area can be customised separately to an individual effect or colour. The 3360 sensor can also be calibrated to a particular surface you are using, much like Logitech mice due to its pretty much the same sensor. Lift off distance is also adjustable, at its lowest setting the mouse didn't register any movements 2mm away from my mouse pad. Well that's the Armoury software, finishing off as a summary, the Gladius 2's gaming performance was excellent, I had zero trouble racking up multiple kills in Battlefield 1, my favourite online shooter. Tracking was one to one and the sensor didn't exhibit any jitter or skipping, its shape was comfortable which allowed me to focus on my aim. I've had this idea in my head for a long time now that only small mice with low weight are suitable for my playstyle, every large mouse I've tried just hasn't been up to scratch in comparison. The Gladius 2 definitely has changed my opinion. Swapping out the sensor in the original Gladius to the 3360 was the best thing Asus could have done. Overall score is a gold award, Asus have done yet again another awesome product and you'll be extremely pleased if you went ahead and bought one. Anyway guys, I hope you've enjoyed the review. I've been Mark from Totally Silence Tech, goodbye.